Well, here we are, John's Pass, taking off on a boat run by Hubbard's Marina, celebrating Dee's birthday. Happy birthday to Dee. Happy birthday to Dee. Our adventure started at 7 a.m. when we showed up at John's Pass, went to Hubbard's Arena, parked in the parking garage, which you get reimbursed for later on. So don't worry about that $20 you think you're going to spend. You won't. On the way out, you get to see beautiful things like this. Dolphins playing, having a good time. It takes you about an hour to get all the way out to where you're going. And you're going to fish for about three hours and that same hour coming back. So you leave at 8, you get back at about 1 p.m.-ish. The good news is they make sure they clean and fillet all the fish. So anything you catch, you're not messing with it. No extra charge to do that. Tips are encouraged for people you think did a good job and helpful hints, everybody does a good job. Just watch this guy help my girlfriend catch a Spanish mackerel off the back of the boat on the way back. This is so cool. Now you gotta give my girlfriend some gathering. slack here. Because what she's doing is trying to reel in a big fish on, off the back of a boat with an open face reel, the type she's never used before. And she's doing it with a right-handed reel. She's left-handed. So <laughs> the Hubbard's Marina crew came in really handy at this portion of the video. But they got it done, as you will see, Now we're taking a moment on the way back to just kind of relax and take in what's happened for the day. Caught a sand perch, a couple of squirrel fish. I'd never heard of either one of those types of fish. 
I had never heard of a Spanish mackerel, but uh, the crew made sure we knew what type of fish they were, and they said we could take them back to the Friendly Fisherman restaurant when we got back to shore, and they, for a really inexpensive price, would cook them up. So we thought, yep, that's exactly what we're doing. So just for now, we're looking at the wake behind the boat and having a really great moment enjoying the sun. And just like that, we're back. Now, what a morning, too. Perfect weather for it. Just a few minutes after we got back, got our fish filleted and got inside the restaurant to have our lunch, a little shower passed by, and that was really cool to watch go across the water. But man, what a fantastic day. I can't quite end the video there, though. Got to show you guys what it's like to step off the boat, go over and get the fish filleted. I'm going to spare you the visual of that, but we're going to go to the top of this wooden terrace here, to the top floor, a place called the Friendly Fisherman. Been there since 78. They will prepare our fish for us. Let's go do this. And over here is the Spanish mackerel. We're going to take the Spanish mackerel home and eat that probably on the grill tomorrow or the day after. And this right here is going to be our lunch. We're here at the uh, Friendly Fisherman. For about 10 bucks, they prepare all the food and get it ready. As you can see, it's right by the water. Cool place, too. You bring your food in and they cook it up for you for about 10 bucks, and that in includes, they give you sides and all kinds of other stuff. I like that fish. It's named a Wahoo. That's cool. Anyway, we're gonna tell them what we want and start chomping here in a minute. Well, here's all the food that Dee caught us. That's the broiled, right? Yes. That's broiled. And blackened. And then they give you a plate that has all the other stuff, fries and corn fritters and coleslaw. So on this day, our breadwinner and fish winner is that chick right there. She's pretty cute. I had to buy the Coke, she couldn't catch a Coke. <sighs> and they put the other stuff on ice for us, so we're gonna have that tomorrow or the day after. On a scale of one to five, I'm gonna have to give this adventure a six. <laughs> Man, first of all, it was inexpensive. 65 bucks a person, another $7.50 to rent the rod and reel. Can you do better than that? We were on the boat for five hours each. Then when we got back, they cleaned the fish and filleted them for us. Man, that's crazy cheap. We had a fantastic time. Big thanks to Hubbard's Marina and John's Pass for making it a fantastic morning. Once again, we showed up at about seven, got all the paperwork done, which is just basically buying the tickets. They'll give you some overview about what you're supposed to do and not do, then at 8 o'clock you're on the boat, you're going out. It takes you about an hour to get where you're going to fish. About three hours of active fishing, then an hour back. And we opted to take our fish up to the Friendly Fisherman once again and got it cooked there. It was a great meal, it was a great day. And when you think about the money involved, that was downright affordable. Got five hours on the water looking at dolphins and fishing and having a blast. So thanks to Pappy, the U.S. Navy veteran cook on board also to Mike and John the two guys who helped us most there was a whole crew who worked their butts off while we were on that boat so uh, yeah we recommend the heck out of this trip you get a chance Hubbard's Marina at John's Pass remember if you like and subscribe everything will go your way for the rest of your lifetime or at least I'll be appreciative and thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you have a great day see ya